All right, uh, what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's YZYTM57 here uh, to make a video review for the website jordanswholesale.co. I ordered four pairs of shoes through them. Um, I got three of them today, still waiting on one more pair, but um, I'm going to go ahead and review what I have now. Um, so, from my order, I did receive uh, the combo. Uh, pack of the Yeezy 350 Boost from the last version. These are unmirrored and I got them in Oxford Tan and in the Pirate Black colorways respectively. Um, let's start with the Oxford Tans. I did take the liberty to release them the way I wanted to. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. For future reference, I'm sorry if it's not picking up colors very well. Uh, my SLR is not with me right now, and I'm using the webcam to record this video. Anyways, back to the shoe. Um, these are great. I, didn't, I don't know what else to say. Um, to me, I don't see this uh, green tint that a lot of people are saying are in the replica Oxford 10 colorway. Um, the you know design or the pattern is almost irrelevant it's hard to even tell that there is a pattern there so that's why I went ahead and I didn't really care for the final confirmed aid version of the Oxford tens and I really couldn't be happier with the shoe um, the boost material is really soft as far as or not really soft, but really comparable to real boost as far as how it feels. This here is a pair of retail ultra boosts. Um, and I gotta say that the boost on these replicas come damn close to them. If not, they are boost material. Um, the shape overall looks fine to me. I know I'm, I'm not the greatest Yeezy 350 like detective out there. Sorry. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are. So you can go ahead and make your assumptions on the shape and the color and the boost. I mean, I'll give you guys a close-up of the boost. There you go. Um, and the insole and the back ankle padding. Um, here is the YZY patch on the right shoe and the Adidas logo on the left shoe. Um, here is the box for the Oxford Tans. Everything came uh, double boxed. Um, US size 9, the colorway and the uh, serial number, I assume, Oxford 10. Um, everything came, yeah, like I said, everything came double boxed with receipts. These were really nice and clean when I got them. I just, I was about to throw them out because I didn't really care for the receipts. And everything came, all the shoes actually came uh, in plastic bags, I guess, to protect them. And uh, I couldn't be happier with the shipping. Um, everything came actually two days early. Sorry for the sound. Looks like a rubbish truck is outside. I'm going to try to talk over it, but I'm sorry if you guys can hear it really loud out there. Anyways, on to the Pirate Black. Um, these are not the final eight confirmed version, like I said before. The pattern here, if you guys can make that out, looks like so. The patch on the side does have a greenish hue to it I mean and the suede on this pair is ridiculously soft that is the adidas logo the back heel tab you guys can decipher how many dots are in there I'm not going to go ahead and count them and the boost material on the pirate blacks very 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 much like real boost if I must say so 
myself, and this is the box for the Pirate Dex. And let's hope that the camera picks it up. There we go. Easy Boost 350, size US 9, Pirate Black. And this is the, uh, I guess, a replica of the restock where it does have the ankle padding on the inside here. Um, I know, or I've read that the original Pirate Blacks did not have this padding back here, sorry. And, I mean, these are great. I don't know what else to say about them because everyone else knows so much more about Yeezy replica shoes than I do. Um, the Prime Knits is, I mean, just as, just as soft as the Triple Whites. I mean, if not softer. <laughs> Same thing. Um, they also did send me a free Monster Energy hat, uh, size 7. And, I mean, it's too small for my own head, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Thank you, though. I really appreciate it. I'm grateful that you guys took the consideration to send me all these little extra things. Um, I got... Two 350 Turtle Dove uh, keychains. I got like three gray 750 keychains and uh, a triple black 350 keychain and a pirate black 350 keychain. Um, on to the Air Yeezy 2. Now, these I do know a little bit more about because I was a huge fan of the shoe back when they first released and I mean obviously I could not afford a retail pair and I went ahead and bought multiple versions of the replicas back in the day like 2012, 2011 or whatever year it was and they sucked compared to these. These are great. Um, the shape of the shoe itself, the suede on the toe box, um, is great. The scaling is the best I've seen off of a replica. I mean, these are as close as we're going to get, guys. I mean, anything closer is going to be a Nike Air Yeezy 2, a real pair. I know that a lot of people were complaining about translucent uh, glow-in-the-dark outsoles. I'm here to debunk that. These are great. These have no translucency anywhere. I have not tested out the glow and how hard they glow yet. Um, but I will do so soon. Um, yeah, let's go back to the scales. So, it is, you know, that ashy kind of gray black material. And it's like a flat piece of leather with each scale. Uh, cut into them individually. Um, same goes for the other side of the shoe. As you can see, when you go one way, they pop up, and then you can smooth them out. Onto the tongue, you got your honeycomb um, mesh tongue with the Horus logo. And your lace lock with the snake skin on one side and the Roman numeral 2 on the other. Yeah, there, you guys can kind of pick it up. Um, gold aglets. Now, the gold aglets, you have to ask for specifically if you do plan on ordering these sneakers. Because they will come and they are pictured on the website with black aglets. So when you're ordering or if you're talking to them on Skype or whatever way you choose to contact them, you have to specifically ask for the gold aglets. And that's how I got them. Um, on my dust bag in the Yeezy box, I do have uh, black aglets as well. And they sent me all these extra gold aglets. The aglets are great. I mean, on previous... Um, versions they were not like this really shiny mirror finish they looked like brass um and they weren't even they were somewhere longer on certain versions of the 
three, uh, not three fifty. Sorry, the solar red. Some were shorter. Um, these connector things here were silver or black, and they just did not look great at all. I'm so pleased with this pair. Um, the sock liner here is a much more vibrant solar red. I mean, other versions were pink, and then other versions were red. These are. You know, I mean, I guess you can say solar red. These are solar red, as you can see for yourself. I will take out the insole for you guys right now. Okay, wait, I still got the <laughs> tissue paper in this shoe. So on this easy two, I will take out the insole. And this is a leather insole on one side with your Horus. And on the other side, you have styrofoam or this foam backing which makes it very padded I've put the shoe on and it's very very comfortable you got your size tag right there Nike your yeah Nike size tag as you can see your Kanye West lettering on the inside KWNVA blah 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 and the triangles on this side your little strap hole in there inside the strap you have your YZY hieroglyphics, Kanye West, Nike, and the year, and uh, a very great strap. I mean, it stands up on its own, like the real Yeezy should. I've had like versions where the strap would like flop over like this way, and then some would just wouldn't. They would just like blop, you know. And these ones are like they stand on end, which is fucking great. I'm going to excuse <laughs> the foul language. Um, you got your black midsole, clear air unit, and then black inside the air unit. Other than that, I mean, I got to say, like, 10 out of 10 on this shoe, man. I mean, there's going to be, you know, the people out there that say, oh, okay, this is wrong, and this is wrong. I personally just don't think it'll get any better than this guys so i mean the blessed as you know as this too the ballistic nylon mesh is a lot better quality than previous versions of this shoe and i mean i can't complain anymore like anything from here on out if they do make a new version of this shoe is just a plus because this is great this is a great shoe and there you go. Back in the insole it goes. Oh, let's bring out the box. So this one did come a little banged up because it was in a separate box than the 350s. So the 350 boxes look a lot better. Um, this one came a little bit banged up. Not mad about it at all. Inside came tissue paper and your Nike Air Easy 2 dust bag. Same thing on one side. You got your Horus logo. It is the same ballistic nylon mesh as the toe box of the shoe. On the other side, you have Nike Sportswear, both embroidered in black. Great embroidery, nice and tight. Um, yeah, it just looks great. I mean, this is the dust bag you always get. Two extra lace locks. And here are the black gunmetal aglets. Let's put these away and I can close out the video. Overall, um, they were great. I mean, I had some troubles with Western Union. Um, Jordan's Wholesale was very patient and very cooperative with me until my transaction did finally go through. And they sent these out. Uh, as soon as they could. I mean, I think I ordered them on a Sunday. They shipped out on Monday, and I got them today, Wednesday. But, I mean, in China, it's Thursday, I think. So a total of, like, four-day shipping. Granted, I'm probably a lot closer to China than a lot of you guys are. So, I mean, I wouldn't expect much longer if you guys were to put an order through them um, my overall experience I mean I am missing one pair of shoes I'm sure they're on their way very soon 
I just talked to the people on Skype and they said, you know, the turtle doves are in really big demand right now and they fulfill orders as soon as they can and they are going to send mine as soon as they can. And I will definitely be reviewing them once they do come in. I just wanted to go ahead and you know, make sure that this video got out and praise the word of Jordan's Wholesale.co. <laughs> um, yeah, guys. I mean, ten out of ten. I'd definitely go through them again. Um, once again, this is YZYTM57 with a very long and kind of thorough review for Jordan Jordan's Wholesale.co. And Thank you.